This is a Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. Uh, a couple of videos I've been wanting to make, I just haven't had time. I've been busy, like I was chopping firewood and getting firewood. I got sawdust everywhere. It's like 74 right now. Yesterday was like 35. Uh, the nights have been warmer than the daytime sometimes. And depending on what weather channel you look at, tomorrow is going to be um, 35 degrees and sleet and freezing rain. And another weather app my wife is looking at says it's going to be sunny and 45. So who the hell knows? But people talking about moving out in the woods, get away from where you're at, for shit hits the fan, if shit goes wrong, you want to be away from people, you got to move out in the woods, and that's what I thought we did. We moved out here, we love it out here, we're in the middle of nowhere, my neighbors are kind of far apart, we don't have anybody right up your butt, you know, I got miles and miles behind my house, you know, if you wanted to do something, you got plenty of miles, you can run and hide, you can build shit out there, nobody will know you're out there. But, I mean, you know, you got to go 40 minutes to an hour to go to a store, you know, to go grocery shopping's an hour to get there. But how far away is far away? Where it's, you got nice houses on this road, you got tiny houses, little cabins, people living in, you know, little tiny houses. There was... An abandoned house, like a shed or a shack, been sitting for years, from what people were saying. But two years ago, people moved in there. I thought they were fixing it up. It was full of trash. They had blue tarps for a roof. You know, you, you do what you gotta do. If you don't have any money, you gotta fix the roof. But you ride by, you try and say hi to these people, and they look at you like you're crazy. They give you the finger. Um, I mean, we go to the dump twice a week, you drive down the road, they almost run you off the road. They've been spending money on quads, these four-wheel four -wheel drive, four-seat, I don't know what you call them, you know, recreational vehicles, they're like quads, but they're enclosed. They got two or three of them. They don't put any money into the house, they got a bunch of toys, but they're white trash. I'm sorry to say, it is... It is what it is, you know. We got the neighbors across the street for them. You know, we along with everybody, well, I don't even know everybody, but you just know them from waving and everybody keeps it themselves. The people down here, her daughter came over, wanted money for something, looking for a job. She came over and did stuff around her house and we paid her. There's uh, another kid's kind of mentally challenged, looking for work. We had him come over and do stuff. Yeah, help everybody out. These people are white trash. But, that's everywhere. But my thing is, the neighbor, the cops are there all the time. The neighbor came out the other day and said, she texted my wife and said, look out front, what the fuck. So we come out and we thought it was helicopters or something again. And I'm looking for a forest fire, like, oh my God, there's a fire. We come out, look down the street. State police look like SWAT out there. Cops, riot gear, in the house, bringing people out. Evidently, last month, the one kid's girlfriend uh, died of an overdose. And he's got a couple kids himself. There's like parents and their kids, which are 30. And then his kids, which are like eight. Anyway, the cops are out there. They arrest this guy. Well, a kid. He's 30 years old. Chatsworth man charged with trying to meet underage girl for sex. Burlington County Prosecutor Scott Kofina and City of Burlington Police Chief John Fine announced that a 30 year old Chatsworth man was charged yesterday with trying to arrange a sexual encounter with an underage girl he was communicating communicating with on Snapchat. Hazelton Newman, 
of the first block of Baptist Road was charged with attempting to lure or entice a minor, second degree, and endangering the welfare of a child, third degree. The case will now be prepared for presentation to a grand jury for possible indictment. Okay, now this guy, 30 years old, evidently he has an eight-year-old daughter that lives with him. His girlfriend overdosed in the house. And he's living in, that's his parents' house, evidently. So I guess they're in their 60s or something. But then come to find out he's got a brother who is in jail right now, or just released, for the same thing. Uh, he was sending pictures and video of him having sex with another underage girl to this girl. It, it's it's like a drama reality TV show or something. But this is just a couple houses down. And these people, they weren't there when we moved in. But what I'm saying is, wherever you move, shit can happen. And Because we were like, you know what, when all this stuff's going on, it's like, you know what, we didn't move far enough away from people. We need to move where it's a 30-mile driveway and we're the only house or one or two houses but you know what like we got to drive by all these people we get along with everybody but we got to drive these by these people every day too so if you're out there by yourself in the middle of nowhere in a dead end road like this I don't know if any place is any better than anywhere else I mean yeah I'd get out of the city but if you moved into the city and you got kids and you moved out here, you think you're out in the middle of nowhere, and your next door neighbor is doing stuff to your kids. So, where safe? <laughs> Can you get away from this insane world? So, in California, uh, I don't know how old the guy was, but he was just released from jail. Uh, he had sex with an underage girl. Uh, he was charged with rape. He's being released. He's doing no jail time. And evidently, he doesn't even have to register for the Megan's Law. You know, where you got to register as a sex offender. He doesn't have to do that. What the hell's going on in this world? So, I just wanted to point out that no matter where you go, shit can happen. Uh, uh, luckily, there are a couple houses down. But... They're here, they're not moving, and we got two other neighbors. Well, one is definitely moving, and another one, they want to get the hell out of here because of this one person. But like I'm trying to tell them, where are you going to go that's going to be better? How do you know anything's going to be better than where you're at? I mean, if the whole town sticks together, you know, people take care of their shit. You do something to a kid, eh, call the cops? No, we'll just, we'll take care of it ourselves. That's where we need to go back to. Uh, well, this is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.